Hey guys, what's going on? Well, we'll do take two of this. These are the Motorola XTS 5000 UHF high split radios. This one's flash for FPP. And this one is flash for trunking. 9600 baud. Both of the flashes are fully loaded, absolutely correct. All the tuning values on these, they have the latest firmware. Uh, they've got brand new housings on them. I just spent uh, $630 on new housings for these. Well, actually $630 for new housings. These housings don't come cheap, by the way. But if you want a flawless radio, it costs money. These batteries turned out great. I think what I'm going to do, I've got a lot of money tied up in these radios. I didn't realize uh, just how quickly it was adding up. But at the same time, uh, it's not too bad. These are Motorola. These are the batteries I just came out with. I believe the date code's 2014. NNTN uh, 8923AR. I don't really see a point in supplying a generic battery for that. That's the rating 1961 milliamp. This one same thing 2014 day code NN 8923 AR as well 1557 milliamp and today's date. I've got test batteries on these for now. Uh, go through these radios real quick for you. DSP. Tuning values are all correct. Comes with DES OFB, DES XL, and AES 256. Hardware encryption. It's a model number. These are 8 meg units. It's a flash code. UHF high. Tuning values. These are Bravo 122s. Both of them. Now that's for the trunk radio. I've installed new uh, Motorola, I bought, got them from Motorola, they're CMOS batteries on the back of the main board and I've installed brand new ones on both radios. No seller uh, on eBay I have seen as will go that far. But I went ahead and did that for you, for whoever the buyer is. Price is yet to be determined on these. I'm trying to put a package together. This is the FPP. Again, latest firmware. Secure hardware module with the latest firmware as well. Try encryption. Model number. Eight megs, there's a flash code. UHF high, R01913, and Bravo 122. These are both absolutely perfect radios. They need nothing. They're both intrinsically safe. They've been bench tested. Serial numbers have been checked through NCIC and are clean and clear. They have legitimate back tags. All the filters are absolutely mint. 
on the back. There are no excuses with these radios. UHF highs, I don't get in very often. And when I do, I tend to pull out all the stops because these are very good radios. They come at a cost, but at the same time, uh, they're worth it. I'm not that crazy about 2500 radios. I don't like the build quality of them. And a lot of them seem to be used by correctional facilities. Uh, and they seem to bang around the radios a lot. I don't know who in the world uh, came up with the idea of people using paint pens on housings. But that's one of the stupidest things they could possibly do. Uh, anybody who takes a brand new housing, and I see it all the time, and paints up a housing with their name and their number and all that crap, is just an idiot. I'm sorry, but they are. You can easily have your name or number right on the inside of the radio. And you can actually turn it on or turn it off. There, it's gone. You can put your name in here or your number. And let me go back here. There, it's back. And it's on the inside of the radio. So, I mean, not only that, you've got the option of UVID. And I can actually do that uh, at an added cost to the inside of the housing. Uh, you know, if you're gonna take a pen or engrave, you know, some cheap, cheap engraving tool, take a cheap engraving tool, you know, to a perfectly good radio, uh, all they're gonna do is just grind it right off. Uh, it's just one of those things, and I see that all the time. Please don't do that to your radios. You're just fucking them up and making them look silly and making yourself look silly in the process. Uh, if people want your radio, they're going to take it, they're going to grind off the serial number, they're going to pull that back tag off, and they're going to probably sell it on eBay for a hundred bucks. Say they didn't know where, they, where it came from. It's one of those kind of things. So, you know, I mean, there are smart ways to identify your radios. And engraving is just one of the stupidest things that I've, <coughs> that I've seen. Even the professional engraving, I don't get, uh, you know, yeah, it's fine, but, you know, at the same time, I just don't understand it, uh, because they will grind it off. You see it all the time. I do, anyway. And, but, yeah, these are all programmed up to talk to each other. They work fine. Let's see if we get any feedback. Check, 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 check. Ah, shit. Sorry, guys. I'm just too close. Check, check, check. Turn it up a bit. Check, 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 check. Ah, oh, man, I'm sorry about your speakers. Turn your speakers down. I can't get far enough away from this. Check, check. Ah, oh, shit. Check, 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 Then I put them in digital mode. Check, 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 They're just really good radios, Model 3s. FPP, uh, your if you have a telephone interconnect on your system, you can actually use your, uh, use your radio as a telephone. Uh, FPP gives you a little more options. You've all seen me go through this. But these are 450 to 520. 8 meg units. Built very good. Whoops. Oh, edit. No. Done. Uh, they're just they're just built so much better than the 2500s. I just you know I mean 2500s are quick carry radios. They're good radios, but when it comes to things like encryption, you have to have uh, the encryption board is actually soldered 
to the keypad, the back of the keypad, and they're just a bitch to work on. And they're a cheap variant of the 5000s. Now, I sell them, and they're very good radios. Uh, I think the Navy SEALs actually used uh, 2500s at one time. You know, they're very robust radios, they're very, very good. I'm not knocking them, but when you put them up against the 5000, these are so much easier to service and to actually uh, to actually use, in my opinion. But uh, service, serviceability is the main thing with these. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it for this. I, I've got some, these will come with uh, impress chargers. Uh, latest firmware on the impress chargers are 3.11 uh, versions. I've got 3.90s and I need to upgrade to 3.11s. Uh, it kind of caught me off guard, but uh, I'm going to be doing that. Uh, also, I've got either Jedi mics or I've got the PMMN 4051As, which have Winport technology in them, and they've actually got the 3.5 millimeter uh, earphone jack on the mic head. Uh, Jedi mics don't have that. So I'll probably put together a package for each of these radios. Uh, They'll have, they'll come with an impress charger. Everything firmware will be the latest on them. And I've never had a radio uh, from the U.S. Forestry Service, the highway patrols, across the United States, fire departments, police departments, EMS, uh, sheriff's, off sheriff's offices. I've never had one uh, not make it on to a public safety system. And they put these radios through a stringent vetting process. Everything must be correct before they put those in the hands of officers who go out in the field and they have them on a system. So if you want it done right, it's going to cost money. It's just as simple as that. I've got a lot of money tied up in these radios. Nothing comes cheap, but good, good radios uh, will last you and these radios will last you a long, long time. But yeah, the clocks, the clock function, you know, will do you just fine with the new batteries installed. And like I said, no other seller does that on eBay. They just put the radios up, you know, some of them don't even clean the radios. I can't believe it. All the gaskets, I, everything's been checked internally and externally. The gaskets have been treated. The seals have been treated. Everything is just as it should be on these radios. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. Uh, anything else? Uh, I know I'm forgetting something. But yeah, they'll come with mics, they'll come with a uh, charger. I do have vehicular chargers uh, that I may put up with these. I'm not sure. I may just sell those on their own. Uh, probably sell those on their own. I'm just trying to figure out a package right now. Price is yet to be determined, but uh, it will be it will be proper for the cost of these radios. These housings aren't cheap, and the work is not cheap, and the parts aren't cheap. So, anyway, take it easy, guys. Hope you're doing well. Sorry about that last video. Man, it turned out, well, the last video of these. I don't know what in the hell went wrong with my camera, but at least now you get a better idea. Both intrinsically safe. So they'd be perfect for the fire guys. It's the high split, UHF high, and that's in demand for the LAPD, uh, NYFD, and a lot of other agencies. Uh, so... Anyway, take it easy, guys. I'm already, I don't know how, 14 minutes? Good God. Uh, anyway, guys, take it easy. Uh, these are the XTS 5000 Model 3s. Later on.